a very similar kind of uh, empowering aspect of the Drake equation is, say there, are, there is a huge number of intelligent civilizations that spring up everywhere, but because of the Drake equation, which is the lifetime of a civilization, yeah. maybe many of them hit a wall. And, yeah. and just like you said, it's clear that that, for us, the great filter, the one possible great filter seems to be coming, you know, in the next hundred years. So it's also empowering to say, okay, well, uh, we have a chance to not, I mean, the way great filters work, it is just get most of them. Exactly. Nick Bostrom has articulated this really beautifully too. I, I you know, every time so yet another search for life on Mars comes back negative or something, I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our odds for us surviving is yes, better. Look. And, and, and you already made the argument and broad brush there, right? Uh, but just to unpack it, right? The point yeah. is, we already know <laughs> there is a crap ton of planets out there that are Earth-like, and we also know that most of them do not seem to have anything like our kind of life on them. So what, what went wrong? There's clearly one step along the evolutionary, at least one filter roadblock in going from no life to spacefaring life. And um, where is it? Is it in front of us or is it behind us, right? <laughs> if if there's no filter behind us and we keep finding all sorts of, of uh, little mice on Mars and or whatever, right? That's actually very depressing because that makes it much more likely that the filter is in front of us. Yep. And that what, what actually is going on is like the ultimate dark joke that, that that whenever a civilization invents sufficiently powerful tech, it's just, you just set your clock and then after a little while it goes poof for one reason or other and, and wipes itself out. That would be, wouldn't that be like utterly depressing yeah. if we're actually doomed? Whereas if it turns out that there is a really, there is a great filter early on that for whatever reason seems to be really hard to get to the stage of, of um, sexually reproducing organisms or even the first ribosome or, or whatever, right? Or or maybe you have lots of planets with dinosaurs and cows, but for some reason they tend to get stuck there and never invent smartphones. All of those are huge vic boosts for our own odds because been there, done that, you know? <laughs> it doesn't matter how hard it, or unlikely it was, that we got past that roadblock because we already did. Yeah. And the, then the, then that makes it likely that the future is in our own hands. We're not doomed. So that that's why <laughs> that's why I think the fact that li that um, life is rare in the universe it's not just something that there is some evidence for but also something we should actually hope for.